Good morning. Thanks for hopping on and for joining Gems for the Journey. I'm so glad you're here. I want to give you a few brief nuggets just to help you jumpstart your day. Come on in the room. Take your shoes off. You know how I like to do it. There's some milk, coffee, cappuccino, orange juice, eggs, bacon, donuts, all that good stuff was over in the next room. Grab yourself a plate. Get yourself something to drink. And once you're here, I'll be here waiting for you. This is a thankful Tuesday. Oh, yes, it is. It is a thankful Tuesday. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I want to rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I know you love your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, your, your children, your sister, your brother. You love your neighbors, your sorority sisters. You love your co-workers. You love the CEO. You love the COO. You love the district manager, the floor manager, the principal. You love all those people with those titles. And honey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And they have power, but they don't have the power to make a day. Oh, no. No, only God can make a Tuesday. Only God can make a terrific, thankful Tuesday. I want you to try not to complain this morning, any day. Any day above ground is a good one. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. I know it gets dark sometimes. Sometimes we all experience valley moments. But if you tie not and hold on, the light will appear. Oh, yes, it will. They laughed at your crucifixion. I want to know what are they doing, going to do about your resurrection because you are going to get back up again. You are not going to stay in that spot always. I'm grateful this morning. Grateful for the train that didn't derail, the boat that didn't sink, and the plane that did not crash. When you and I were asleep last night, dead to this world, didn't know what was going on, God sent an angel. Oh, yes, he did. He said, go by her bedside and wake her up. She has an assignment this morning. So the alarm clock did not wake you up this morning. Your children, your spouse, they did not wake you up this morning. The hand of God came alongside of you and touched you and woke you up. You are here on purpose. I'm grateful this morning. I want to ask God to do what he did for Jabez, to bless, honor, and favor you. I appreciate you being here. We are live and in color. If this is your first time, then please don't let it be your last time. And if you happen to stop by later during the day, just type in replay in the comment bar, and that'll let me know that you are here. I want to thank, thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. I do go back and read all all of your comments. I just want you to keep asking, knocking, and seeking. I thank you all this morning. Sometimes you show up and I'm not even here, but we're working on that. I have somebody working with me who told me it's time for you to take it to another level. What we're going to do is we may have to pre-record some of these because sometimes duty calls, work calls, I'm at the airport, at the train station, I got to get out of here. Sometimes I'm having to be at work and you're expecting me and I've had to leave early. So we're working on that. I want to thank you for your patience in advance. Uh, if you get any bad news today, any bad news whatsoever, I want you to click return to sender. Send it back where it came from. I'm so glad that on Tuesdays, that's trash day in my neighborhood. That means the city of Houston is going to come through in these dump trucks and pick up the trash. You know what? My trash can is full. I get to put in that trash can jealousy, envy, rivalry, malice, hatred and then I get to watch the trash company take it off yes <laughs> they get it out of my yard off of my vicinity out of my premises out of my sight I'm so grateful for trash day to day if you get any bad news I want you to send it <laughs> I want you to send it away we're not having that I declare this morning that there's nobody like him yeah, and there's nobody like you. Yeah, you are special. You are the head and not the tail. You're the first and not the last. You're the beginning and not the end. You are above and not beneath. You are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a city that sits high on a hill that cannot be hid. You are the apple of God's eye, girl. I'm so glad you're here. I want you to thank him for the victories, both great and small. I don't care what they are. Maybe you weren't able to finish high school, but now you want to go back and get your GED. Honey, you do that. That is a victory. That is a victory. Perhaps you've always lived in an apartment and you've always dreamed of owning your own home. Now at 60, you've been approved. I said, go girl. It's never too late. You get your home. It's your victory. And we thank God for it. Perhaps. 
Perhaps you went to bed last weekend and all your children weren't there. You paced the floor and walked all night. But this morning when you woke up, all of them were there. That's a victory. Yeah, that's a victory. You thank God for it. Yes, indeed. I want to ask God to do what I always ask him to do on every call. To help somebody, heal somebody, deliver somebody, restore somebody, redeem somebody, reposition somebody, turn somebody's life around, change somebody's mind, set somebody free this morning and give somebody another chance. Sometimes that's all we need. That's all we need is for God to come along and give us another chance. Have you ever needed another chance? I know I have. I know I have. And the great God of heaven extended it to me. So because he extended it to me, it's for me to extend it to the other people that I come in contact with. And you ought to do the same. Yes, somebody on this call may be on the verge of a ver nervous breakdown. All kind of things are happening in your life. Financial problems, social problems, problems at church, family problems. You are on the verge of a nervous breakdown. But I want to ask God this morning, instead of a breakdown, to give you a breakthrough. I want him to come through for you this morning. I know he will. I know he will, but he's come through for me before. And he's no respecter of persons. I just want you to keep on pressing. Yeah, keep on pressing because there's a blessing in pressing. God has not forgotten about you. He has not. Now, let me go ahead and acknowledge you. That's one of my favorite parts of the show. Javonna Russell says, good morning, happy, thankful Tuesday. So glad to have you, Javonna. Sister Ira Booker, first lady of the Shelbyville Church of Christ in Tennessee, says, good Tuesday morning. Good morning to you, Sister Ira. Krista Tabar says, good morning. Good morning, Krista. So glad to have you here. Sherry Umana says, morning with a purple heart. Good morning to you. Sylvia Brown, my beautiful sister, says, good morning, sisters. Good morning, sister. Uh, Sylvia, so glad to have you. Robin Taylor says, good morning with two hearts. Good morning, Robin. Glad you're here. Sister Willie Brown says, good morning, Sister Joey. And all on the line, Sister Willie Brown, we're so glad. We're so glad to hear. This call wouldn't be the call that it is today without you, sister. Mr. Brown, so glad you're here. Jennifer A. Catchin says, good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, Jennifer. You are the beautiful one. Dana Christie Brooks says, good morning, my beautiful sisters. It's transformational, terrific Tuesday. Thank you, Dana, for throwing in that word transformational. You know we need to be changed. We all need to be changed. Yes, um, I think it's uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Yeah, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds to prove that which is good, perfect, and acceptable unto God. So thank you, Dana, for reminding us the, of the transformation that can take place in Christ Jesus. My Southwestern Christian College colleague, she's a beautiful one, Sister Sophia Crawford Lewis. So glad to have you, Sophia. Sister Ira Booker says, thank you, Father, for blessing us to be with you in your Tuesday in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ira, for giving him ownership. It is not our Tuesday. It is his it's Tuesday. He's just allowing us to be in it. Y'all are speaking this morning. Sister Ethel Barnett says, good morning, sisters. Good morning, Sister Barnett. Ida Armstrong, my middle school classmate, powerful woman of God, entrepreneur, says, great morning, my beautiful family. Thank you, Ida, for being here. We're so glad to have you. Ida is a mighty woman of God. She's a wife. She's a mother. She's a grandmother. And let me tell you, if you follow her, you will be following a Proverbs 31 woman. She is a beautiful woman of God. Sister Ira Booker says, we are rejoicing in your day, Father. Oh, yes, we are. Cheryl Jones says, good morning. Good morning to you, Cheryl, and blessings to your husband. Cheryl is another mighty, wonderful woman of God. If you want to see how it's done, if you want to see how it's done, I want you to follow Cheryl and watch her. She has a beautiful work beautiful ministry um she ministers to her husband through his illness and let me tell you she does not miss a beat cheryl may god forever be with you thank you for your example i'm not married i'm not a mother or a wife but let me tell you i watch you 
I watch everything you do. I watch Sister Ira. I watch Ida. And I said, you know what? When my time comes, I'm going to know how to do it. You know, because every Ruth Cheryl needs a Naomi. And I get a chance to sit at the feet of some beautiful women. You all are beautiful women. You're teaching me how it should be done. Javonna Russell says, praise God. Mama is home. <laughs> And on the men, we thank and appreciate all your prayers. Mom is resting and recovering well. Thank you, Father, for healing Sister Norfleet. Giovanna's mother is home. We rejoice with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for uh, covering Giovanna's mother and sending her home. Ida says, um, I'm returning it. Ida says, yes, Lord. Robin Taylor says, praise God, Giovanna. Yes, praise him. Sister Iris says, Father, thank you for blessing your daughter, Priscilla Norfleet. Thank you, Sister Ira, for calling Giovanna's mother by name. I know heaven heard you. I know it did. Robin Taylor says, praise God, Giovanna. Uh, Ethel Barnett says, praise God, Giovanna. Ida Armstrong says, grace. Allison Barrow Traverso says, good morning, my beautiful sisters. Missed you all yesterday. Yesterday. God bless. We miss you too. I wasn't here yesterday, but I'm so glad to be here today. Thank you, Sister Allison, for being here with us in Jesus' name. Ida Armstrong says, God is coming through. He is. Missy Brown says, Amen. Quinna says, Good morning, my beautiful sisters. Good morning, Quinna. Ethel Barnett says, Thank you, Lord, um, for your blessings and your favor. Ida Armstrong says, Ah, oh, thank you. Just continue praying for me. That I will. Jennifer A. Catcher says, Hallelujah for healing. Sister Norfleet, hallelujah. Chris Carnett, my sister, my friend, says good morning, sisters. Go, good morning, Chris. Sherian Morgan says good morning, sisters. Good morning, Sherian, you all. If you have not met Sherian, if you don't know Sherian, Sherian is a mighty woman of God. She's an educator by profession, but she is a storyteller, a master storyteller. If you have an event, uh, a, a birthday party, a family reunion, a class reunion, an um, uh, uh, anniversary, a wedding. Uh, if you need, uh, you know, children don't read like they used to. Now we have the web and all these other things, but Sherry is a master storyteller she tells stories at special events and occasions you can gear her with the information she needs she turns it into a very powerful story that is her ministry she's a master storyteller so we're so glad to have you here Sherian if you all ever need her then call on her follow follow Sherian we have some gifted talented women in the body of Christ. Sometimes we don't acknowledge them enough, but you know what? Acknowledging them doesn't take anything away from you and me, okay? So remember Sherian Morgan, a masterful storyteller. Ida Armstrong says, glory to God. We thank you uh, for returning home uh, your mother. She's talking to uh, Giovanna. Uh, Ethel Barnett is praying. Missy Brown says, that's nice. Oh, I'm so glad all of you are here. I'm glad you're here this morning. What applause do you want? Sherry says, oh my goodness. Thank you, Joey. My sister, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you for blessing me over the years. I've heard you speak at different events. You know, a storyteller, y'all, is a speaker. So she is a speaker. I've heard her speak at events and uh, she is absolutely amazing. Missy Brown says, yes, we do. We are favored by God. Do you want to honor God or do you want to impress people? That's a question I have for you today. Do you want to honor God? Or do you want to impress people? Or are you more focused on impressing people? The problem is, we want to be impressive. We want to be liked. We want the limelight. We want our name on the marquee. We want to make sure they don't forget to call out our name. We want to be walked up to the front. We want to be made to feel important. We want the applause of men. This generation is impressive. We're so impressive that sometimes we put that in front of walking in the spirit. We put that in front of upholding standards. We want to be so impressive. 
We don't always uphold ethical integrity and moral imp uh, uh, intelligence. Oh, we want to be impressive. We want to be so impressive that we sometimes forget to carry the shield of faith and the breastplate of righteousness. We put impression above all that. Ida says, we are all some beautiful women in the Lord. And it is great in his sight. Oh, yes, it is. Latoria, healthy, natural hair. Bowman says, good morning. Good morning to you, Latoria. So glad you're here. Um, Ethel Barnett says, Lord, keep our hearts humble. Yes. Rita Woody says, good morning. Good morning, Rita. Glad you're here. Ida says, God is where we reward us. Stay on the assignment that he has for you. We never somehow forget to be impressive. We, we crave the applause of men, of people. We carry a whole bunch of selfies. Yeah, we are enamored and in love with ourselves. We are constantly checking to see how many likes we have, how many comments do we have, how many Instagram followers do we have, how many TikTok views do we have, how many tweets do we have, how many Facebook shares do we have, as if that is the gospel, as if that is the good news. As if that is the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. People are following us. And the enemy is thrilled at that. The enemy is thrilled because he knows that we are sinful creatures. We are just filthy rags in God's sight. He knows that, that we sacrifice holiness at the altar to impress people. What about the applause of heaven? What about the applause of God? What about the applause from our creator that cannot come and should not come in last place? We must reprioritize. Uh, because he must, Ida, he must come first. He can't come second. He can't be placed in the middle. We can't place him at the end, Rita, or Ethel, or Latoria. We must place him first. This world is so messed up, we would rather be politically correct than to be holy. We would rather be socially correct than to be holy. We would rather... Go in with the wrong crowd than to be holy. We would rather talk about somebody than to be holy. We would rather curse somebody out than to be holy. We would rather schemes and manipulation than to be holy. We would rather be unfaithful than to be holy. We would rather hurt somebody than to be holy. We would rather hate than to be holy. We would rather con be controlling than to be holy. We forget. That a time is coming when we're going to see our Savior face to face. There will be no conversations about social media, fashion trends, reality TV, what happened in the news, the last gossip column, uh, the, your favorite lipstick color. Oh no, a time is coming where the conversation is going to be different. He's not going to ask to take a selfie with you. When we see him face to face, he's going to ask, did you do business with my son, Jesus Christ? He's going to want to know, who did you help along life's way? Who did you feed? Who did you clothe? Who did you house? Who did you encourage? Who did you inspire? Who did you motivate? Who did you give hope? Who did you pick up when they were down? Oh, a time is coming when the conversation is going to change. Ida says, we are dressed up because we are the cast to put on display to tell somebody about our God. Sherian says, have mercy. Help us, Lord. Ida says, be ye holy as he is holy. Missy says, help us, Lord. He's not going to want to know who did you throw away? Who did you discard? Who did you mistreat? Who did you mishandle? Who did you not include? Who did you talk about? 
He doesn't care about what you wore, where you live, what you drive, what college you went to, what organization you are a part of, how much money you had. He's not impressed with that. He's coming back someday. And the conversation is going to change. We're going to have to give an account. I think we forget that sometimes. We forget sometimes and we need to be reminded that we're going to have to give an account. Whose applause do you want this morning? Yeah. Giovanna says, talk to us, Sister Joey. Claire uh, Bailey, my colleague from Texas Southern, says, good morning, sis. Good morning to you. Congratulations on all of your work. I'm very proud of you and do know that I keep up with the great things that you are doing. Ida Armstrong says, there are so many sick and we have to pray for them. Absolutely. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, Ida. Claire, Giovanna, Missy, Sylvia, Sister Ira, Rita, Latoria, Sharon, Missy Brown, Jennifer. I, I don't know, Sister Ethel, Quinna. I don't know about you. But I know this one thing. I'm looking for a well done. Thy good and faithful servant. I don't know about you. But I'm looking for a surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I don't know about you. But I'm looking for great is thy faithfulness. I don't know about you. But I'm looking for I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Latoria says, uh, whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do unto me, says the Lord. You are absolutely right. I don't know about you. Sister Penny, good morning. So glad you're here. You're not late, honey. You're right on time. We're glad you're here. So glad to have you. You can always go back and listen to the rest later. I don't know about you. I know what this world tells me to look for. I know what TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and Twitter tells me to look for. But I'm looking for I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't know what you're looking for. But I'm looking for grace and mercy saw me through. I don't know what you're looking for this morning. But I'm looking for a mansion, robe, and a crown. I don't know what you're looking for. But I'm looking for he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. I'm looking for. I walk through the garden alone. While the dew is still on the roses. Oh, I don't know what you're looking for. But I'm looking for salvation has been brought down. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Ida says, I want to hear him say, well done. Yes. Chris says, yes, ma'am. I need to hear those words too. Well done. Ida says, heaven is in my view. Yes, y'all got me singing in my spirit this morning. Ida says, it's his grace. Dana is raising her hands. Missy says, yes, Lord. He knows my name. Robin says, amen. I don't know what you're looking for. But I'm looking for amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That same a wretch like me I once was lost. But now I'm found. I don't know. I don't know what you're looking for. Yeah. But I'm looking. I'm looking for him to say, girl, you did the thing. <laughs> yeah. Sharon says, amen. Robin says, amen. Missy says, yes, Lord, he knows my name. Allison says, that, Allison says, there are too many opportunities for us to get into ministry. Get on board. That's what our father expects. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Ida says, hallelujah. Ira says, good word. Quinn says, amen. Ida says, it is well with my soul. Oh, yes, I'm looking for that too. I'm looking for it is well. It is well with my soul. I'm looking for everything flows from Emmanuel's ground. I'm looking for a fountain free. That's what I'm looking for. 
Ethel says we have heaven to look forward to. Oh yes we do. I want Jesus to say you did the best you could. You honored me. You didn't let anybody or anything pull you away from me. You tried to live holy. That's what I'm looking for. You tried to live right. And then he will remind me of all the times I didn't get it right. And with that he'll say now there is no condemnation to those of us who in Christ Jesus. Even when you messed up I had you. That's what I'm looking for. He will remind me that I tried to live with integrity. He will remind me that Joey you were the same person in the dark as you were in the light. I can use you. You did the daggum thing girl. And I want him to remind you of that too. Yeah. I want him to remind you of that too. Missy is praying. Missy says uh, started uh, my self love ministry. God be the glory. Giovanna is shouting. Uh, I missed somebody. LP Gardner says good morning. Marilyn Wallow is here. She says good morning. Some of you chimed in late. That's okay. You can always go back. Marilyn says amen. Jennifer Ketchin says um, yes. Marjorie Malone says good morning. Joining late. That's okay. We're glad you're here. He will remind me that I understood and remind you that this world is not our home. We're just passing through. Don't forget that. Don't get confused into thinking that this world is your home. He will remind me to grab hold of my assignment. Yeah. To do good to all men, especially those of the household of faith. He, he gets the applause. He, he gets the honor. He, he gets the glory forever and ever. Amen. Don't get it confused. Don't start clapping for the wrong people. Don't start clapping for the wrong organizations, the wrong institutions. He gets the glory. Yeah, you get to looking at other people. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to be disappointed. They are human. They are fallible. Get your eyes off of other people and set your eyes above. Give him the applause. Yes, indeed. If God be for you. If God be for you this morning, who, who can be against you? No weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I want to thank you for hopping on this morning. Yeah. You mean something. You mean something to this world. You mean something to the body of Christ. Girl, you matter. Sister Marjorie, you matter. LP, you matter. Jennifer, you matter. Marilyn, you matter. Don't forget that. Marjorie, Missy, Giovanna, you matter. Ethel, Idol, Quinna, Sister Ira, Sylvia, Allison, Sherry and Robin, Missy, Dana, Tamara, you matter. Chris Carnett, you matter. Don't forget that. Sister Penny, you matter. Latoria, you matter. Claire, you matter. Giovanna, Cheryl, all of you, you matter. You matter, Tamara. You mean something. You are not here by accident, Claire. You matter. Yes, indeed. If nobody, if nobody has told you this morning, Giovanna, that they love you. Rita, if nobody has told you. Ethel, if nobody has told you, Dana, let me tell you. Let me be the first to tell you, Chris, that I love you. And there ain't a thing you can do about it. Not one thing. Not one thing. You are not heavy. You are my sister. This morning, I don't want you to be stuck. Yeah. I want you to keep moving. I want you to keep moving. The hand of God is going to show up in your life. You are not depressed. We are not going to claim that. You are just uninspired. You matter. Missy says, Joey, you matter. Thank you for that. Jennifer says, Joey, you matter. Thank God. Thank God we all matter in Christ Jesus. Listen. Listen, I want you to go the rest of the day. I want you to have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Be careful. Be careful of placing your applauses in the wrong place. Be careful of applauding in the wrong place. You better turn that applause upward. 
and give it to the one who is responsible for it all. Share this message with somebody, and I look forward to being you, seeing you back here on Wednesday. Take care, and God bless.